Hi guys! Sorry it has been so long since I made a video. It's been two weeks now, I guess, and I'm sorry. There's a lot of stuff that... Ooh, that one's kind of dirty. One second. I'm just gonna clean you. Is that better? Okay. <laughs> a lot of things happened in the last two weeks. Um, probably the biggest one though was that I was really sick. I'm like just getting over it now and I'm actually able to talk now. Well, I could talk before but it it was tiring to talk. Wearing makeup when you're sick is like the grossest thing ever so I haven't been wearing makeup like at all in the last two weeks. Yeah, I'm sorry I just didn't have any <laughs> new content to really bring you guys. But now that I'm feeling better, I'm back. I have a haul video for you today and I have a lot of new content coming, so get excited for that. So let's get started. So the first thing I got, this was kind of just a little impulse thing, but I've seen Emily Noel 83 talk about this and I thought it was a good idea for myself, but it is a little travel size Tresemme Tray 2 Extra Hold. It's the number four, it's the green one. It says it's travel friendly. I've been bringing this with my stuff to work because I wear my hair in a ponytail every second day. And every once in a while, like I have my hair hairsprayed right now, but um, strands will fall out. Like you can kinda, <laughs> I don't really wanna screw up my hair. Strands fall out of it all the time and they just kinda like hang out over here. So I thought it would be a good idea to do touch ups at work, which are sometimes necessary. So that's why I got this. I believe this was $2 at Target. The next thing I got is pretty exciting and um, I love free stuff and this happened to be free, so get excited. But this is also only for people who live in a city that has a L'Occitane boutique. Like it can't be Sephora, like it has to be an actual L'Occitane store. On the L'Occitane, <laughs> I can't not say that in a stupid way. Um, on their Facebook page, if you like them, you can get a free little cute sock. No, <laughs> you get three hand creams. So it's like a little trio of hand creams. And so you get cherry blossom, almond milk, and the shea butter one. These are generally very expensive to buy. So getting them for free is pretty awesome. And I love that they're travel size so you can just put them in your purse or whatever. It says it's 10 milliliters. I mean, I know the big ones go for like $30 at Sephora. So having three little mini ones for free, I mean, you can't pass that up. And the girl at the store, she's like, tell all your friends about it and uh, we have lots. So <laughs> I know a lot of my friends don't live in a city that has a L'Occitane store. So um, I'm hoping that some other people will be able to benefit from this. <laughs> Next up, I'll just do something that's kind of boring, but mm, whatever, it's something I bought. So I got the Herbal Essences Body Envy Shampoo and Conditioner. I usually get my Color Me Happy, but they were out at Walmart at the time. So I just got the Body Envy ones, um, cause they're orange and they smell good. The next thing I'll go over, these I just discovered Saturday. I went into Ardeen and, or Den, however you say it, I say it like Ardeen. And I noticed that they have some lip crayons. They just call them lipsticks. And they did have lipsticks there as well. And they look like they were, exactly the same but just in an actual lipstick form rather than a crayon form. But anyways, what I'm trying to get at is they had testers, which Ardeen usually never has. So I was actually able to test this out before I bought it. And let me tell you, these are something special. I bought Light Peachy Pink, Bitten, and Fuchsia. So the one I was able to try on my hand was the Light Peachy Pink, which is actually more, I don't know, I wouldn't call it a Light Peachy Pink. Like it is a warmer pink color but it comes off as more like a really kind of Barbie, um, just really light pink color. The amazing thing about these is that they have a really kind of creamy texture. Like they're not really glossy or anything, but when I wipe it off, it stains a little bit. Um, the longer you leave it on, the longer it stains, and this does stain your lips. I've tried this, the light peachy pink one, and I've also tried Bitten, which is a red. And I was wearing this in an Instagram picture I'll put the Instagram picture right here. <laughs> this one is a great red. They dry out your lips just a little bit, but it's not crazy. And the staining power is absolutely worth it. Um, it's not like the lip stains, like I talked about in my last video, where they like are really hard to wear. These are really easy to wear. The colors are kind of like, you know, out there, like this isn't exactly the best color for my complexion. Um, this one looks like absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> it's fuchsia and it's gonna be crazy, but that's good for spring and summer. And then the red is just a classic red, so that's always good. So definitely pick up at least this one 
Two. Red lips. Yes. Do it. I picked this up a while ago and honestly, I don't even see it anymore because the display that it was in isn't in my shoppers anymore. So this kind of makes me think that that collection's already over. This is the Essence Lash Mania Reloaded False Lash Mascara. I find it really gives your lashes amazing length. The only thing is that they can look a little bit spidery. So that's, I mean, if you're not into that, then don't get this. And I find that it's just ever so slightly smudges, but it's not too bad. Um, it's definitely doable. And I find I've been wearing this mascara a lot. It's just really easy to wear and I know that it gives me like amazing length so I've been grabbing this one lately. The clearance area of my shoppers has been amazing lately. <laughs> Three of them were 99 cents and one was $3.99 so maybe I'll do the $3.99 one first. This is the L'Oreal Skin Expertise Go 360 Clean Deep Facial Cleanser and I believe this is in the oil leached combination skin one, the blue, the, the blue one, the green one. Um, so if you've never seen this before it has a little face scrub built into it that you just pop out of the bottle. And it's really gentle, it's just like silicone. You only need a really tiny amount because it lathers really well. And I'm able to do my whole face with like a pea-sized amount. I use this in the shower and I'm really liking it so far. I didn't really have a facial cleanser right now. Like not one that wasn't a scrub. Like you scrub with this thing, but I wanted one that if I didn't want to scrub, I didn't have to. So. And it was only $3.99, so why not? All right, 99 cent things, here we go. So one of the things I got for 99 cents was the Garnier Fructis Fall Fight Strand Saver. The thing that really caught my eye, because I was looking at this, and it says, notice strands on your brush or in the shower? Yes. My hair is always collecting in my brush. I'm always shedding hair. And I already have super thin hair as it is, and it breaks really easily. So I thought this would be a good investment in my hair for only 99 cents. It smells really good. My boyfriend always tells me that my hair smells like girl, so that's good, I guess. Fresh kind of fruity smell too, like a hair product fruity smell, if you know what I mean. And I just spray it on my hair after I get out of the shower, after I've combed it. And it just, it makes it feel really nice and soft. It's like a leave-in conditioner almost. And I think it's working. I mean, just the smell alone is enough for 99 cents to make me want to buy this again. But I think it has been helping with my hair. It just makes it feel more conditioned and not as frizzy. So definitely, if this is not 99 cents in your store, if it's like, I would pick this up if it was six or seven dollars, honestly. So you should consider getting this. The last two things are nail things. Woo! Uh, they're both by a brand that I've never heard of before. It's called Nailene. These, these are the products. They're like in a pink packaging. The first one I got nail strips because I love trying nail strips and I want to do eventually like a huge blog post about which nail strips are the best. Um, so I have to try them all, obviously. So. This one I just thought was a really cute design. It's like a cheetah leopard print with pink spots. And it has 22 full strips, two full applications if you do it smartly. Smartly? Smartly. So that's kind of exciting. And for only 99 cents, I can dig that. So I'll definitely try these out, let you guys know how they are. And the last thing I got, I'm hoping this is like a trendy thing because I saw Essence had something similar to this, actually exactly like this, um, with their Justin Bieber collection. This is a nail tattoo. It is like you get these transfer papers. It comes with two different polishes. Like I'm really not sure how this works exactly so I kind of have to find out. I'll just read the back. It says Naily nail tattoos transform your nails into walking works of art. The artistic palette contains two neutral polish shades that act as a base for your newspaper map or scrapbook paper masterpiece. The easy one, two, three tutorial is, oh, on the side panel. <laughs> okay, I could have just looked at this. So basically you apply two coats of your polish and let it dry completely. Then you dip the transfer paper into water and press the wet transfer paper image side down over nails for 10 seconds. And then you slowly remove the transfer paper. So that's kind of cool for 99 cents to get two nail polishes that are neutral colors, which is always nice. And then to get like, I don't know how many transfer papers, but there's quite a bit in there of each design. So it's at least one application of each. So that's exciting. For 99 cents, I mean, I could not pass this up. I can't wait to show you guys how this works. I'm hoping this is like a new nail trend thing that I'm like hopefully ahead on. <laughs> I can be ahead on something. That is it for my haul. Oh, there's one thing I forgot. Oops. <laughs> um, one other thing for my haul. This is not beauty related, but if you like candles like I do, this is good stuff. This is from Ikea. This is like a straw, the strawberry candle that they have now for their spring collection, I guess. It smells really nice, but it just doesn't give the same amount of scent throw as the um, Bath and Body Works ones do. So 
I would rather invest my money in like a strawberry Bath and Body Works candle. And if I were you, I would do the same. It's a nice candle. It's red. It smells like strawberries when you smell it like this. Some upcoming videos that you have to look forward to would be <laughs> Empty's video. I'm going to do a blog post about this mascara, the Essence uh, Lash Mania Reloaded. I'm definitely going to do a either more in-depth video or a blog post on these puppies. Um, maybe I'll check out a bigger Ardeen to see if there's any more colors, but these were the three that I saw that I liked. There was like an orange one too, but I didn't think that was worth getting because orange doesn't look good on me. Let me know what you've hauled recently. Sorry again for the hiatus. I hope you guys will forgive me. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.